More dissenting voices are emerging over the Commercial Enterprises Bill as union leaders today express the discontent with the Commercial Enterprises Bill. As Cleopatra Murphy tells us tonight, union leaders joined opposition leader Philip Davis, former Prime Minister the Right Honorable Hubert Ingram, and the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce in citing problems with the bill government officials say is necessary as the country needs foreign direct investment. President of the Bahamas Electrical Workers Union, Paul Maynard, says the Commercial Enterprises Bill is bad in its present form. The union president agrees with former Prime Minister the Right Honorable Hubert Ingram, who earlier this week suggested government rethink the $250,000 investor guarantee. He insists the threshold should be higher. It should be $6 million, at the very least three, at the very least. And then you're able to get the, the better class of foreigners, if that's what you, the investors, if that's what you want. But you know, you you got two hundred fifty thousand. You got all kind of snakes, oil salesmen coming in there and doing foolishness. It can't be. It, you, it cannot continue in that present form. The former prime minister also said government must have the consensus of the opposition. A point Maynard says is valid. After leader Philip Davis threatened a repeal, Maynard says it would scare investors. But if that can be so, in five years they out, and they lose everything they invest. That ain't make no sense. They ain't, they ain't got to go through that. Sit down with the opposition, work it out. And, and, and get and bring it back. That's what you need, that's what that you should do. Whether they do that's another story. But I mean you don't cheap in this country. We ain't whores. And that's what you got. You got us as prostitutes in the streets of, of London in Soho Square. And, and, you know, we ain't prostitutes, man. The bill would entitle foreign and Bahamian businesses to work permits for persons with specialized knowledge. NCTUB President Bernard Evans takes issue with the work permits being under investment minister Brent Simonet's portfolio at a time when Bahamians are being terminated. He says manpower audits should occur in every ministry and foreigners terminated in posts Bahamians can fill. Again, the Congress called for the portfolio or the permit. Um, for work permits to come out of the remit of the Minister of Investments and place under that of the Minister of Labor. There has to be a separation. Cleopatra Murphy, CNS Network News.